What's up my people, it's your boy Mr. Getting It Done and welcome back to the channel, to the Mr. Getting It Done where we talk about credit and real estate, right? So we're gonna start off with the basics, my people, right? So when we get into credit, we wanna talk about the foundation, we wanna talk about the fundamentals and the fundamental question that comes to mind is what is credit? I feel like credit has like a unknown understanding if that makes any sense when somebody hears credit they automatically think of something in a broader aspect right so we're going to talk about what actual credit is right so credit simply put is the ability to borrow money goods or services right without having to put up some form of collateral okay with the intent that you'll pay it back at a later time so for an example going to the bank and getting a credit card, unsecured credit card, where the bank gives you $5,000 on the credit card and they don't require any collateral. Collateral is simply you putting up something in exchange for the credit, whether that be a title for ownership of a car, whether that be a deed for a mortgage, whether that be money, right, cash, right? So you put up some form of cash and then you get a credit card in return. So you don't have to do any of that, right, when it comes to credit, if it's not collateralized, meaning you don't have to put anything up, the bank just gives you $5,000, okay? And they're gonna give you that $5,000 based on your credit profile and your credit history, and you're gonna use that and pay that back at a later time. So that's what credit simply is. The bank is basically fronting you, you know, money, goods, services, equipment, whatever the case is, and you don't have to give them nothing up front. Okay, so that's what credit is. So credit is extremely important for those of us that grew up in a household like, my, like myself, where credit wasn't talked about at the dinner table. Uh, you know, credit was looked upon as bad, as evil, as the government, as a scam, whatever the case is, right? It was frowned upon. And as a result, I didn't learn credit. Okay, and then when I went out to go purchase my first vehicle, my first home, you could imagine you know, the rough and the rough spot that I was in because I had zero credit, right? So when you have zero credit, it's like having bad credit. You get high interest rates, right? Because nobody, you don't have any history with any lenders or banks to show that you are responsible with managing credit, okay? So the, it's very important that we understand what credit is and that we get involved early and that we get our children involved, we get our families involved, mother, father, brother, uncle, aunt, whatever the case is, right? Get them involved at an early age with understanding how credit works, okay? So we live in a society where it's, it's a credit based, okay? We're moving away from cash. We're moving away from a cash of society. So those of you that think cash is king, cash is king only in specific instances, okay? So besides that, credit is it. Credit is king, okay? So building your credit profile and acquiring assets via your credit is the way to build true wealth right so let's talk about some things that you need credit for okay pull out my board here so we can see hope y'all can see that okay so uh okay so i just broke down what credit was right so we're gonna need credit for insurance right for auto insurance so now when you go to apply for auto insurance, you know that they do a soft pull in order to qualify you for the best rates. So you're going to need good credit for auto insurance. Excuse me. I, I hope that you guys can see this. Uh, you're going to need auto. You're going to need credit for an apartment. So those of you that know that have an apartment, right? They do a credit check to make sure that you're paying your bills on time to make sure you're going to pay your rent on time. OK, uh, they're going to they're going to run your credit for an auto loan. Okay, you're not you're not getting away with getting your credit run for an auto loan and likewise with a mortgage. Okay, so you know be mindful of these things because this is what you need credit for, and then also credit cards. Okay, so I hope you guys can see that. Okay, so you're gonna need you're gonna need credit for credit cards, mortgage, auto loans. You need credit for absolutely everything. So putting yourself in a position where you understand credit, where you can build credit. And, and start building it early enough and then get your kids involved to build your kids credit and I'll make a video of how to build your kids credit and you can build it as early as eight years old. You heard that correct. I started building my kids credit as early as eight years old and when my, my oldest, when she turned 22, when she turned 18 actually, she was able to go out and purchase her own vehicle brand new under her name without a cosigner, right? We have this misconception that 
you know, it's an accolade for us as parents that when our kid turns 18 of age that we're going to go run and co-sign for them. Okay, when you co-sign for them, you're actually doing them a disservice because you're not giving them the credit game, right? You're making them dependent instead of independent. So if you yourself are willing to co-sign and you got good credit, teach your kid how you got it. So that way that when they go out and they want to get that new car, that student loan or personal loan, whatever the case is, credit card, they don't need you. They can go out and get it on their own. And then once you teach them how to fish, that now they know the game, they're going to teach their kids. Right. And now you created a generational habit that breaks the cycle if you come from a family like I did. So there it is, my people. I hope that helped you understand what credit is. Credit is king. Credit is the future. Credit is new currency. If you're not hip, get hip. Right. If you like the information, click the like button, um, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be dropping gems all day, every day. We're going to talk about how to leverage your credit to buy assets, cars, real estate, you name it. We're going to talk about how to leverage your credit to get things done, to get you financially free, to get your to get your family wealthy, etc. So if you like the gems, put a comment in below. If you have a question about credit that, you know, you need me to break down, comment below. Um, I'll get to all those questions. I'll make a video addressing that and let's grow together. Thank you for stopping by the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.